Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update, February 28th, 2020 edition. In this edition, updates on Zhao Liying and Shen Yue, and five highly anticipated costume dramas for 2020. But first, as you guys know, I went on an amazing trip in Southeast Asia and had lots of awesome food. I've been back for about two weeks now and a couple of days ago, tried on my favorite pair of chinos and found that it was kind of tight around the waist area. I stepped on a scale and found out that I put on 9 pounds. 9 pounds on my 3 week trip on a steady diet of laksa, which is a, a spicy rice noodle soup, lots of seafood, and no exercise. I just thought I'd let you guys know just in case you were wondering if it was the camera or if my cheeks got fuller. But I'm already back on my usual routine of healthy eating and lots of exercise, something that we should all strive for. But you know what? If I could do my trip all over again, I would in a heartbeat because it was all so worth it. Anyway, on with the show. Zhao Liying's dramas have accumulated over 180 billion views, making her number one among all drama actors. Here's the list of her dramas and the sum of their views from every episode. The one that stands out, of course, is 2017's Princess Agents, with the most views at 48.5 billion. Second is 2016's Noble Aspirations at 28 billion. It doesn't explicitly say so, but I'm assuming this includes both season 1 and 2 as they came out in the same year. And third is 2015's The Journey of Flower with 25.5 billion. The drama with the least amount of views on the list is 2013's Mermaid Legend with 8.6 billion. Indeed, an incredible feat, especially because these are all dramas where she is the star, where she is the main draw or one of the main draws. Recently, there's been word that she intends to venture into the world of international film. This came about because she signed with Li Bingbing's management company, He Song Entertainment, back in March of 2019. Li Bingbing herself is an international film star. She was in 2018's The Meg with Jason Statham. Whether this is true or not, hopefully Zhao Liying will not leave the drama realm completely. It's where she got her start and where she's considered queen. It was Shen Yue's birthday on February 27th. She turned 23. The first drama I saw of Shen Yue was A Love So Beautiful and I thought she was terrific in her role as Chen Xiaoxi. She then went on to star in the super popular 2018 remake of Meteor Garden and then more recently in Another Me, the coming-of-age drama with Chen Duling. Shen Yue took an interest in photography in university. She was at one of her friend's photo sessions when the model had to pull out last minute. Lo and behold, Shen Yue stepped in to pose as a firefighter in place of the model. The results were unexpectedly good, and the pictures were posted online, and as fate would have it, caught the attention of a talent agent. Shen Yue flew to Beijing for an interview with the talent agent, and that was the start of her journey to becoming an actor. She currently has Count Your Lucky Stars coming up, a modern drama in which she stars with Jerry Yan. In it, Jerry Yan plays an incredibly lucky chief editor, and Shen Yue plays his incredibly unlucky designer employee. An accidental kiss causes them to exchange their luck. They try to reverse the effect, but somehow she ends up being his live-in servant, and romance and comedy ensues. An exciting rise in her career in the past couple of years, something I'm sure she'd love to maintain going forward. Here's to wishing her good luck and happy birthday. And now an update of some dramas that premiered recently. My Lonely Planet is a modern drama starring Yang Shizhi and Zhang Lingyi, and it premiered on February 26th. The drama follows the romance between a down-to-earth CEO and an arrogant designer. Whenever they feel unhappy, their bodies will be taken over by their animal soul, turning them into a dog and cat couple. The drama is sort of an experimental one from the Shanghai Drama Academy. The actors are from the academy and the script was workshopped by the school. A great way to cultivate talent in my opinion. My Lonely Planet is available on the iQiyi app with English subs. My Love Rival is Myself is a modern drama starring Eva Chang and Tan Yaojun, and it premiered on February 27th. The drama follows a regular university student who experiences the shock of her life when a chance encounter causes her to have the appearance of a handsome young man. It is available on Yuku and Duboku, no English subs at the moment. And now it's time for me to answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel by contributing on my Patreon page. Today's question comes from Tazmia Mosin, who asks, 
There are many new historical Chinese dramas airing now and would like some update about them or how they're being received by viewers. Also would like some update about some most anticipated historical dramas for this year. Thank you for your question, Tasmia. I've actually continuously updated on dramas that have aired like Eternal Love of Dream and The Love Lasts Two Minds, so I won't repeat them here. You can search my previous videos for those. But here I've compiled a list of 5 highly anticipated costume dramas for 2020. The Imperial Age stars Feng Shaofeng and Chen Baoguo and chronicles Zhu Di's life. Zhu Di, played by Feng Shaofeng, was the fourth son of the founder of the Ming Dynasty. He initially accepted his father's appointment of his eldest brother and then his nephew as crown prince, but then later he wiped out his nephew and ascended the throne. In Chinese history, Zhu Di has been criticized for being a cruel emperor who executed and demoted family members and did everything in his power to suppress any rebellions. Legend of Awakening stars Arthur Chen and Dylan Xiong and is based on the novel Butterfly Blue. Cheng Xiao from the South Korean Chinese girl group Cosmic Girls and 14-year-old Deng Enxi round out the main cast. Arthur Chen plays an orphan who was taken in by a martial academy, and together with his three friends, set on down the path of awakening. This will be Arthur's first costume drama since his stellar performance in Evernight Season 1. Jiu Liu Overlord stars Bai Lu and Lai Yi and is set at the end of the Tang Dynasty. Bai Lu plays the Longzhu clan leader who teams up with a wealthy silk merchant played by Lai Yi as they solve a case of missing gold thread. Bai Lu has risen in popularity with recent dramas like The Legends and Arsenal Military Academy. This will be Lai Yi's first starring role after many supporting ones in dramas like Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms and The Flame's Daughter. Dou Luo Continent stars Xiao Zhan and Wu Xianyi and is based on a novel of the same name. The drama tells the story of Tang San, played by Xiao Zhan, and his sworn sibling Xiao Wu, played by Wu Xianyi, and how they rally with different sects to defeat a rebellion. The drama wrapped filming in July of 2019. The producers must have a renewed sense of expectation now since Xiao Zhan's rise to popularity in The Untamed. Held in the Lonely Castle stars Wang Kai and Maggie Jiang and revolves around the complex political and romantic relationships within the royal court. Wang Kai plays Emperor Ren Zhong of Song, whereas Maggie Jiang plays the strong female ruler Empress Chao. I'm a fan of Wang Kai's work, and the last costume drama I saw of his was Nirvana and Fire, which I loved, so I'm certainly looking forward to this. Held in the Lonely Castle's Wikipedia page has it as premiering on March 18th. We'll see if that materializes. All the aforementioned dramas wrapped filming between 2018 and August of 2019, so there's a chance that they might premiere this year. We all know that some dramas can take forever to premiere. Yes, I'm talking about you, The Wolf. So it's hard to say for sure if any of these dramas will actually premiere this year, but we can always hope. So which one of these are you guys looking forward to? And that's it for this edition, guys. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. So thank you all for watching, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.